We're up to Lesson 102 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 102. I share God's will for happiness for me. I share God's will for happiness for me. You do not want to suffer. You may think it buys you something and may still believe a little that it buys you what you want. Yet this belief is surely shaken now, at least enough to let you question it, and to suspect it really makes no sense. It has not gone as yet, but lacks the roots that once secured it tightly to the dark and hidden secret places of your mind. Today, we try to loose its weakened hold still further, and to realize that pain is purposeless, without a cause, and with no power to accomplish anything. It cannot purchase anything at all. It offers nothing and does not exist. And everything you think it offers you is lacking in existence, like itself. You have been slave to nothing. Be you free today to join the happy will of God. For several days, we will continue to devote our periods of practicing to exercises planned to help you reach the happiness God's will has placed in you. Here is your home, and here your safety is. Here is your peace, and here there is no fear. Here is salvation. Here is rest at last. Begin your practice periods today with this acceptance of God's will for you. I share God's will for happiness for me, and I accept it as my function now. Then seek this function deep within your mind, for it is there awaiting your choice. You cannot fail to find it when you learn it is your choice and that you share God's will. Be happy, for your only function here is happiness. You have no need to be less loving to God's Son than he whose love created him as loving as himself. Besides these hourly five-minute rests, pause frequently today to tell yourself that you have now accepted happiness as your one function. And be sure that you are joining with God's will in doing this. That's lesson 102. I share God's will for happiness for me. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.